right here. No way. No one goes and prays to Buddha in the morning and she lights up a few sticks of these incense and then she brings them out by the pool and she sticks them in the ground next to the pool and they smell really, really, really good. So, life is good. Going carnivore in Thailand, sniffing on the incense, listen to birds sing, life is good, I'm doing my thing. Want to make a quick one here. I'll tell you what, I have slept really, really well since going carnivore. And I do have to concentrate on trying not to be eating too much that fills too much before bed. One of them big steaks before bed is not necessarily the way to go. So as I spin around here, give you a little view of the surroundings, but Going, you know, just eating a big, big, big steak at night is not really the best idea. Uh, last night, I ended up having uh, chicken wings cooked up in the skillet. Those are the, meat, those are the middle wings, not the wingy wing and not the leg, but the, the middle wing that I showed you before. I had about 10 of those, and that was sort of dinner. And uh, like I said, for lunch, I ended up having some, uh, uh, well, lunch I did. I had half of a ribeye for lunch, put the other half away. So I'm making this in the pool early in the morning. We're getting ready to leave, and I... Nori's going to do some more driving, and we're heading to Bangkok for the day. They've got a big, brand new auto show with custom cars and also brand new production cars up there in Bangkok at, one, at the Challenge Center, I think it's called. So we're going to drive up to Bangkok, and on the inner city motorway, I'm going to let Noi drive. If it gets... Traffic gets too damn bad, and she's too damn nervous, and I'll take over. Then we'll we'll take an hour or, or so, and we'll walk around the motor show. I also want to stop up at the at the world's second largest Apple store, and uh, at least it was last time I checked, second largest. And that's in Central World in Bangkok. It is humongous. Looks like a giant spaceship or something. All the lines are curved. And uh, who knows, I might even take a few shots of it and put it up on this channel. I know I've done videos of it on my other Mark Dash Hannah channel. So uh, the important thing is we're going to be out all day, so we're going to have to find something carnivore to fill our stomach with if we get a little bit hungry. Other than that, we got water and coffee. We'll be fine. So, from Hui Ai, Thailand, and wow, this is tough living, isn't it? I mean, I'm just spinning around here because it is just tough living. I got my coffee on the side of the pool, a couple lounge chairs. Everywhere you look, it's green, the sun's shining. A little different, but uh, goddamn, it's a good time to be an old guy with a beautiful woman who's way younger than he is. Only 27 years. What's the difference, guys? 27 years, and she treats me like gold, and I treat her like.
Bitcoin, which is more precious than gold. If you aren't into Bitcoin yet, well, you will be. The whole world is short Bitcoin. If you're an investor, you understand what that means. But now I'm not the only one who says that. It's been said by others before. The whole world is short Bitcoin. And there's going to be a short squeeze. They just don't see it coming as big as it's going to be. But remember, the U.S. government, which is the creator of the U.S. dollar, has been relying on GDP, gross domestic product. And they tell everybody, the U.S. GDP is strong. Business is great. Everything's wonderful. Yeah, GDP is strong because the federal government is doing all the spending. Every single 90 days, they're going to have to borrow another $1.2 trillion dollars. Every 90, actually every 100 days. I'm rounding that down to three months. Over a trillion dollars borrowed to sustain deficit spending, which increases the gross domestic product, the GDP. Everything's great. Well, every time they borrow more money and go deeper in debt, it debases the U.S. fiat currency, the U.S. dollar. It makes it buy less. You know, in 2012, the average house could be purchased in America for about 190 something thousand dollars. Now it's four hundred thousand dollars. It's not that the house is any nicer. It's that the dollars don't buy as much as they used to. Please, bugs, get away. That's the one thing I don't like about Thailand. They have mean mosquitoes here that you want to avoid at all costs because you can get dengue fever from these striped mosquitoes. And I try to avoid them at all costs. They fumigate this place. They come in and turn this place white with fog every month. And it kills all the mosquitoes that would be laying around or laying eggs or whatever. When we first got here, we had a real bad problem. We don't have much of a bad problem anymore because they keep coming around and fumigating. But, as I said, the whole world short Bitcoin. Life is good. And... Uh, for you, those of you who are following this channel and do yourself a favor, keep up with it. Sometime before the end of the year, Bitcoin's going to be 50% higher than it is now. Maybe it'll be twice as high as it is now. Twice as high. And if it's not this year, it's going to be next. It's, it has no choice. Because the U.S. government's not going to stop printing money. So, as all the good things go, so does Bitcoin. We'll be able to buy more. And if this little bug don't quit bugging me, well, with that, I'm going to get out of this pool, go take my shower, jump in the car, and head towards Bangkok, Thailand. About two hours away. Real easy drive on Route 7, the Inner City Motorway. Toll road, but it's not a bad drive. Lumpy. It's a lumpy road. It's got a lot of these hoop de doops But it's smooth. It just, you know, it'll go up a hill and then downhill. Up a hill and then downhill. I don't know what it was when they built this road, but they decided they didn't want to uh, level it 
I don't know why they didn't just bring in the bulldozers and say, hey, let's take a few of those hills and take them out. But, yeah, T-I-T, -T, baby, T-I-T. -T. That is Thailand. That's all, folks.